Hello guys, welcome once again. Last time I have added a playlist page to my website and I don't want it to show this on my navigation menu so I hide this page on my navigation menu and on my videos and tutorial page I have added a button for opening my NetBeans Java playlist page which I have shown you here and in this video I will edit this page and I will add the playlist into this page so I will click edit page and this will open the new page which is playlist page and here I want to add the playlist so what I will do here I will add a custom playlist or oh, sorry custom HTML code here because there is no option in Weebly as far as I know which will provide a functionality that it should provide a written link and when you click it it should open other page of course this button is there but I don't want to place 120 button because I have 120 videos for NetBeans I don't want to place this 120 buttons here and it will look a little bit awkward so I want to add a custom HTML so I will drag this custom HTML tool here and I will add some HTML code so here I will ins I, I will insert my HTML code and what I have done is in my notepad plus plus I have written a small HTML code notepad plus plus is a open source editor to write HTML or JavaScript programming language and this is only one line code which will give a reference of a website and it will show the link by the name NetBeans Java playlist for example and this will open this link which is my website name so I want to check if it works or not so I will run it launch in Firefox and it will look like this so this is NetBeans Java playlist and when I click this it opens my website so like this from this reference I want to open a link so I will co copy and paste it 120 times like this for example I have pasted it only four times here and what I will do is I will go to my YouTube channel I will copy the name of my first video and I will go to notepad I will replace that name here and then I will go to my YouTube channel once again and I will copy the ULR of that video and I will go to notepad once again and I will paste it here okay so this name when you click it will open the same link of the YouTube video so I will save it, save it and I will run it once again let's see how it look like and you can see 
the name of my video and when I click this the YouTube link of that video opens in YouTube so I want to do like that so I will do it 120 times and I will not take your time for that so I will stop this video here and I will copy this code in my Weebly website in the next video so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now